Okay, so for this other question, question one uh, B, we need to use a quadratic formula because we've not been restricted which method we're supposed to to use. We shall say x is equal to negative b, okay, plus or minus square root over b squared minus four a c over 2a so this is the formula we we need to use in case you forget this formula you can check the first page of uh, the question paper they always give you this formula okay so now when we identify the formula we we come to what we've been given always where there is a power 2 this is our a where there is just x here this is our b where there is a number without a, a letter, that is our C. So we know our A, B, and C. Therefore, we, we substitute. We shall have a negative 13, because our B is 13, plus or minus square root over 13 squared minus 4. A, of course, we know it's a 3. And uh, C, it's a negative uh, 7. So everything over a 2, our A, of course, we know that it's a 3. So we just simplify here. We are, we are maintaining a negative 13 plus or minus. Here, uh, square root of, uh, first we shall say, what is 13 squared? This is 169. Because 13 times 13 it's a what I've written here and then we say plus this negative and the negative here they'll give us positive so now we multiply the numbers 3 I mean 4 times 3 times 7 it will give us 84 or if you want you can start with the negative 4 times 3 times negative 7 you still get a positive 84 and when you get this eight, uh, positive 84 you go to the denominator, this is a 6. So clean up inside there, the root. So we shall have negative 13 plus or minus square root over 169 plus 84. This is giving us a 253. Okay, so 253 over a 6. So from this or at this point is where we need to say negative 13 plus root over 253 over a 6. Okay. And then we say O equal to negative 13. Okay. Minus root of what? 253 over a 6. So the reason why we are having these two solutions, it's because this is a quadratic e equation and it's supposed to give us two solutions because here we've got a positive and a negative. So this is a for the positive. This one is for the, for the negative. So we just simplify further, not leaving our answer here. So it will be equal to when we say negative 13 plus square root of 2. 53 of course it's giving us a 2.90596732 one and then you see over a 6 so make sure you write because here they will mark so make sure you write everything you copy don't feel lazy of uh, copying just copy everything on your calculator and then you come and say divide by 6. So when you divide by 6, of course your answer here, one of the solutions will be a 0 0.48. So this is the final part of one of the solutions. And they have said you write your answer in what? Or giving your answer correct to two decimal places. So it's supposed to be two decimal places. One, two. Okay? So... From here, we come to this other one. So here we shall say equal to, so we say negative 13 minus 
square root of 253. Of course, this one is giving us a negative 28.90597 So this is what we are getting for the second one. We divide by 6. And when we divide by 6, it's giving us uh, our final answer to be equal to negative 4.82 in two decimal places so these are the two solutions of the quadratic equation